Welcome back to the next episode guys. So in the previous episode we've been creating some divs uh, to give us some basic structure. So for the logo, for the navigation, the main content and also the page wrap to keep the website in the center of the page. Um, so what we're going to do now, if we look up here uh, at the logo section, so if I just zoom in. Okay, so this is using some sort of uh, font that I don't appear to have on my system. Um, hence the sort of exclamation mark on the your website in the bottom right. So if I was to do this, it's now going to tell me that I don't have uh, that particular font, which is fine. If I click OK, it will find the closest match. And there we go, that doesn't look too bad. Um, so what we're going to do, we'll actually um, cut this out and add it onto the site. But the first thing we're going to do, uh, if we just jump over to uh, Visual Web Developer, is we're going to go to the style sheet. Well, first of all, this logo and navigation, I think that the height is too much. It needs to be shortened down a bit. So we've just got to go to the style sheet. And then we're going to go to the logo, which is here. And we're going to say the height is going to be 100. And the same for the navigation. Uh, and if we just save that, and then go back to the master page. I think that looks a bit better now. So inside of this logo, we're going to create the following. So if, if you click into it, as you see, it's highlighted. It also tells you that you're inside of the logo div down here. So when we click on the source, you will now see the cursor is directly in between the div for the logo. So add a bit of space. And then inside of here, we're going to create a H1. So that's a heading, so heading 1, which is the, the biggest heading. Um, so you always use a H1 at the top of the website. Uh, that's the most important thing search engines uh, look for. Uh, so we're going to call this, if we just go back to the, the, the design. So I'm just going to follow this. You can change it to whatever sort of logo name you want. I'm going to call it your website. So back to Visual Web Developer. And I'm going to say your website. And I'm going to save that with Control S and then click on Design. And as you can see now, we've got a bit of text that says your website. Um, so we're going to leave that there for now. We'll come back to that bit. The next thing we're going to focus on is the navigation. So again, we're going to highlight. It tells us we're in the navigation. Go to the source. It's always good to make space in between all the different elements so it's easy to read. So as you can see here, I've got the logo div and I've indented it by using the tab key. So I'm going to do the same for the navigation. Equal space, tab it in, um, and then we're going to create the navigation. So we're going to use the following UL. So this is an unordered list. Okay, so it's closed it off for us. Create some space. Tab into it again, and then we're going to create some list items. So if we just copy this list item opening and closing tag, and then we're just going to paste a few down there, like so. So the first one is going to be home. If we just check out the document, see which ones we've got. Okay, so it's going to be home, products, FAQ, company, about, and contact. So if we just go back to the, the design, so the next one is going to be products. I think I think it was FAQ, my terrible's memory. My terrible's memory. <laughs> my memory is terrible. Um, so if we just go back over here, so it's company and about. And then about. And I do think there's one more, which will probably be contact. And it is. So if we just go back over to Visual Web Developer, just copy the last one and paste it in and change that to contact. Okay, so we've now actually created the menu uh, how we need it. Um, if we look at that in design view though, it doesn't look anything like a menu that we need. It, it looks pretty terrible at the moment. So each one of these is a list item. And as you can see, see this sort of blue line? Um, this list item is moving all the way along to the end of the navigation div. So if I click on that one, that one does the same. So we need to give these elements, these list items, widths to bring those down. 
You'll also notice on each one there's a dot. Uh, so obviously we don't want that when we create our menu system. So now we've got this in place, we need to style uh, the actual navigation. So if we just go to the source, so the way we're going to do this is we need to be targeting the following element. So we want to be targeting the nav ID that's got a UL that has a list item. So the way we do this, if we go to the style sheet and then if we add in nav that has a unordered list that has a list item and then we're going to give the, the following properties. So we're going to say the width of each list item is probably going to be say 75 pixels. So if we just go back to the master page and go to design view, you can now see that the blue line is, is coming to here, which is 75 pixels from this left edge and it's not protruding all the way to the end of the uh, closing navigation div. So we've sorted that portion out. So the next thing we need to do is get rid of these dots. So if we go to the style sheet, and we're going to say list style none and close that off, save the page, go back to the master page, you can now see the dots have disappeared. So we're doing quite well, we've only used two lines of code, we're doing pretty well. Uh, the next thing we're going to say is float. So we remember we use this up here for the page wrap and it's not, not sorry not for the page wrap for the logo and for the navigation. So we're going to tell it we want to float the list items to the left which will then bring them all in line. So as you can see now all of the list items have now floated to the right of each other um, and it looks more like the navigation in our Photoshop design. So as you can see we've used what three lines of CSS and we've been able to manipulate that unordered list to start looking like a navigation. So the next thing is we're probably going to want to bring the navigation down because it's right up at the top of the window. So that's easy again, that's easy to do. We're going to use the property called margin and we're going to use the following things. So let's say we want to bring it off the top. So if you look here it says there margin, top unit, right unit, bottom unit, left unit. Now I could never remember which order these go in. So just think of a clock. So the top unit is 12, the right unit is three, the bottom unit is six, and the left unit is nine. So from the so the first property is going to be top, so we're going to bring it 20 pixels down from the top. Zero on the right, zero on the bottom, and zero on the left for now. Okay, so if we just save that. If we go back to the master page, you can now see it's dropped down 20 pixels from the top of the border. I think we probably need to bring it down a bit more than that. So we'll probably say 40. So as you can see now, that's dropped down 40 pixels from the top of the window. And that's now resembling more like our Photoshop design if we just go back. So if you look here, we've got home products, FAQ, company, about and contact. And again, there's a gap at the top like we've got it and we've got a gap in the middle. And at the moment, we've got your website, which is just text. It's not an image just yet, but we will sort that. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. The time's flown by once again. Um, so I'll edit this video, get it uploaded, and then I'll uh, create some more videos and try and get those up for you sometime during the middle of the week. Uh, so as usual, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.